Hi, my name is Marek, I am from Poland and uh, today I'm gonna introduce you uh, to a new kind of tutorial uh, which is DIY uh, on how you can make a DOF adapter which stands for depth of field so when you shoot with it, it will produce you a film like video with any kind of video. I'm sorry for my English here so I will try my best to show you how you do it. What will you need for this? Uh, we, st we are starting from building all the system uh, from the achromat lenses. The achromat lenses uh, actually stands uh, just uh, next to the camera lenses and uh, you don't actually need an achromat lenses if it is uh, if the diameter uh, of lenses of your camera is smaller than 43 millimeters however we are doing the tutorial for big lenses so I will use it and show it and explain it to you this is what we have here is 72 millimeters achromat lenses 10 diopters uh, you should consider buying uh, at least 7 diopters uh, double lenses, achromat lenses, it, con it consists of two lenses inside. Duplet. Duplet, yes, thank you. And uh, we have a step, step down and step up rings here. So the step up rings, uh, we need them in order to mount the achromat lenses to the camera. The camera has a 58 millimeters uh, diameter, the achromat is 72 mil, so we need one uh, step up ring, 50, uh, 58 to 72 mils, so that we can mount it on the camera. And we also need one step down ring from 72 mils to 55 mils, uh, which we will be using as a converter uh, to mount the following parts here. The next step we are going to use is the circular polarizer lens which is 55 millimeters which goes exactly to this mount that will allow us to rotate the DOF adapter once it will be mounted here. You need actually one modification to be done to it. You have to actually unlock the lenses inside, unscrew this holding ring and take off the glass because actually you don't need the glass you are only using this part in order to move the DOF adapter yes after after we uh, we connected uh, this 55 to 58 millimeters step up ring to the 55 millimeters uh, circular Polarizer. A polarizer ring without any glasses after we connect it we have to we have to mount here our first extension ring the altogether extension rings has four rings number three is the largest one uh, the medium is number two Number one is the thinnest one, and the last one is bayonet ring, uh, where you mount the lenses, actually. So, we will first mount the second ring. So, if I take it apart, we will take the middle ring, and we will put it here. Then, the number three will go, and then we will put uh, another number three with a screening inside, but I will come back to this later. So for now we have to to connect number two to our 58 millimeters step, step up. up ring, which is a bit tricky because the polarizer filter, the polarizer ring without a lens, a glass, uh, is 55 millimeters. Our ring is 57 millimeters, and there are no step up ring from 55 to 57 what we will do we will glue the 57 millimeters ring inside the 58 millimeter step up adapter so as you can see it will not it will not uh, it will not uh, uh, screw one into each other so we will have to glue it we will have to glue it as you can see 
the 57 millimeters number two ring goes very loosely into 55 millimeters step up ring. So we will have to glue it. We will first glue it with a super glue with a little dots uh, through the diameter just to hold it tightly and then we will glue it with a hot glue from inside. Okay, so we are using the super glue now. Just uh, several dots here and here. This is how the glue gun looks. And uh, you insert the glue. Is it expensive, the glue gun? No, it's just five uh, to six pounds. Nothing expensive. Uh, fucking China, very unquality glue gun, but uh, we will try to fix that. Kurva matka. Much. Much. Oh, fuck's sake. So, we have made the converter which we glued all together. I will now show you how it all look li looks like. So what we've got here, that's the Akramat as you can remember. Very good lens, big one. Akramat, the 55 CPL without any glass. Uh, the converter 55 to 57, 58 and the 57 lens glue uh, 57 extension ring glued to 58 mils converter this all part will go inside the acromat which has a 72 to 55 converter et voila we've got it here now you can see it can it can it can be rotated in order to get the picture right that was the aim of this uh, CPL. Yes, okay, cool. Now we will have to put another rings here. And inside these rings, we will have to place the vibrating holder for the screen. It's not available on the market, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it is available on the market. If you look my video till the end, I will show where you can buy it. So, we will have to glue it at exact, at exact distance from our le lenses, which will be in front, somewhere here. It's called focal plane. Yes. As we need an exact distance, an exact distance, we will need to measure exactly 54 millimeters, 54.1 millimeters from our lenses because we're using Canon, uh, yes? yes, Nikon <laughs> because we're using Nikon, my friend so and the distance should be measured from the bayonet yes, ring to the uh, to the I will show you now to this part of screen holder that's the back side of screen holder. That's the front side where the screen will pop in. I have a question. Yes, please. Why why should it be uh, 50 51? Tell me. Uh, it's differs for different kind of lenses, uh, but uh, actually this distance is needed in order to properly focus uh, uh, the image. And if you put it somewhere in the wrong place, you will not be able to uh, to focus on a uh, on a big distances like uh, unlimited distance or uh, more than let's say 20 meters or 10 meters. It will always be blue. Focus blued. to infinity. Yeah, focus to infinity. That's right.